Good afternoon guys, I'm just going to make this short video and try and keep it as swift as I can but basically I'm having a bit of trouble with um, what you'd call a CCJ at the moment um, so I'm going to take I'm going to take you through a small timeline of what happened and explain it as fast as I can but basically the basics of this video is trying to ask people for help and help other people in the same situation so right, let's jump into this then so the, uh, the first thing is I parked somewhere and um, I put my money in the machine, you know, and then the machine swallowed one of my coins. I've pressed the button, I've got my ticket out, put it on my car, I didn't think anything about it. When I come back, I realised there was a ticket on the car. I thought I put three quid in, so, you know, <laughs> I looked at the ticket and saw, ah, oh, the 50p didn't register. So instead of having all day parking, I ended up paying for a couple of hours. Sweet, I had the ticket. So then I, um, I took the ticket home and I thought, Euro Parking Services, looked them up for they can't really come around and force money or anything like that. it's a private car park so I've done a bit of research so I thought you know what I'll just leave it but I did actually um, write to them I don't know if this was a mistake I don't know because um, they sent you know the letter with the evidence of the ticket and stuff like that and uh, and at the time as well I wasn't actually the driver of the car because um, I was having a drink so I didn't actually drive um, so then, yeah, those letters went by. I replied to them saying, you know, this is the situation. Um, I spoke to them on the phone. The woman was quite like, you know what? That machine has been playing up, so, you know, we'll just leave it. You, know, you can never trust these people, put it that way. So then they, uh, that was on the uh, the 2nd of February, 2018. Nearly a year later, I get a beautiful CCJ. Um... A fake one, might I say. So this is a notice of proposed allocation to the small claims track. This is like a load of uh, BS to me, but the County Court Business Centre in Northampton decided to send this to me, which is basically a letter saying that, you know, defendant, claimant, got to pay this, otherwise we'll take you to court. I mean, the, the most funniest thing about this, I've just got to show you this, this is great, is that that little stamp is printed. There's no signatures on here. There's no names of who it's off or anything. And you know, something like as, as 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 formal as something you've got to pay. Like you know, if you get a speeding ticket, it's signed by the people that work in the camera enforcement unit or whatever. So you know, it's common knowledge that normal things are signed. So I thought that's a bit dodgy. I'll just ignore it. Um, they sent another one. Silly me decided to uh, to reply to it, which I think well, my dad's idea, but you know. So, which I think I made a big mistake doing this. Uh, and then written a letter to them, um, just saying, I'm fully aware um, of the situation that's happened. Um, I want you to be aware that I'm a carer for my severely disabled father, um, which is true. And these letters, in my opinion, are, in, are unfair. And from my perspective, in the view that I have responded every time, becoming harassment. Sorry, this is actually the second letter I, I sent. A couple of letters actually before that, just saying, can you stop harassing this address? Um, and then I said, and once again, I'm prepared to pay the original parking, not the parking fine, how much the parking would have cost. Um, so then I says, um, I've also, um, I'm going to, yeah, confirm my issue about attending court, which is, um, I disagree with the process detailed in this enclosed letter. I refer to the claimant to my original dispute detailed via the court online services. I feel my defence will, will be better served by an oral process due to the nature of my counter dispute and its complex details. Um, I'm just going to grab one other letter to show you. So, in another one after that, I actually said, um, so they left it a year, so I said if I would have been served letters at an early date, I, I probably would have paid the normal fine at this point because I was like, you know what, I don't want this harassment. I don't want to get a CCJ. Um, and I says, I'm not admitting it. It's just simply down to convenience based on the fact I cannot establish who was driving my car on the day of the alleged offence. I couldn't remember who jumped in the car because it was one of us that wasn't drinking. So then that person jumped in, um, which none of us can remember, even the person, because obviously as soon as we got to where he was, that guy started drinking as well, so we can't remember. Um... I'll reserve the rest of my defence for an audience with a judge. So basically, I'm asking for a proper hearing, which is fair enough. The, nowhere in this letter, in these letters, is there any signature or anything. Like, no names. I don't even think it's a proper court, as far as my research has gone. Then they send this, which I think is the uh, the big mistake. As you can see, number one there. 
It says this is now a defended claim. So if anybody's watching this, please tell me have I made a mistake there by uh, replying to them. I probably should have just left it. So then uh, the defendant has filed the. Um, oh yeah, it's just saying I've um, filed the defence. Um, they actually took a copy of the letter and stamped it and sent it back to me with all the letters that I've sent. So um, it basically asked me to fill this questionnaire out, which is the N180 form, which I thought, you know what, that they wanted me to send it to another address than the actual county court, so I just left that and I thought, that's a bit dodgy. Um, I wanted to see a proper court thing and I want to have the hearing. There's nothing on here saying anything about hearing. So from what I've gathered, this uh, company, um, which Gladstone's solicitors are one of them, Euro Parking Services and the Northampton County Court Business Centre. Now, they're all asking for money now, so which is very confusing because I don't know who to pay. And if I pay one person, it's going to be proof of my payment. You know what I mean? I'd rather take it to court and do it properly. So anyway, I thought nothing of it. I thought, you know what? If they want to take me to court, let's go. I'll wait for the letter and I'll go and I'll defend myself. No letter come, right? So this is around uh, November. So then in January, I get another letter basically saying, uh, asking for this questionnaire again. And I thought, okay, I'm not still not going to do it. Doesn't, doesn't seem like, don't admit to anything, uh, which research was saying. So I left it. Bada bing bada boom in a month's time um which i didn't know about this till now and it's now just a week into march just about um i checked my credit file and i've got a cc journal now i was a bit silly when i was younger with a credit card so um i've spent a considerable few years getting it back up so now my credit's plummeted started to plummet um in the past month so the CCJ has got the uh, County Court Business Centre in Northampton on it. So I'm just wondering, how the hell have they given me a CCJ when I've had no hearing? I've had no court letter, no date of court, nothing. Just silly little letters. There's loads of them as well. And there's loads more here. Just silly little letters saying about Thud's questionnaire. No judge name. Not even like an area, and I, I believe it's just an office from my uh, from experience. So I'm gonna get down to the main thing of this video is what I'm saying. Can anybody help with this situation? Because I don't want to see CJ. My ultimate goal is just to get rid of it off the credit thing. If it does cost me a bit, I might have to just pay it and know next time not to reply to them because maybe that was my mistake. Um, so yeah, if somebody could tell me if it is a, <laughs> if it is a mistake, I'd like to know because um, I still have other letters uh, come about other fines and you know just crap that you get off people that aren't proper like authorities so the other thing is as well is that can I fill one of these forms in um, which I, I picked this up um, off my friend which is an N244 application notice and then that costs money for me to try and get the CCJ set aside is it worth doing that or am I gonna get it not set aside have to pay the 200 and odd quid to do that and then the 300 pound that this company are asking for it's not like it's a lot of money um compared to like other people having problems with thousands of pounds but it's still money at the end of the day and i don't think it you no know, what's the justification for me paying 300 pounds to a company that haven't lost any money why should i lose money and they've passed it through loads of companies so yeah so basically if anybody can help with that that would be absolutely great and then my aim is i'm going to start making videos to help other people because it's very stressful as you, can, as, as you can know what I said in the letter, you know, I've got a disabled father at home and it's not nice having these letters. So I don't, I don't, I don't live at my dad's too much, you know, a lot. I like uh, moving around a lot uh, due to work and stuff. So it's not nice him having the threat of bailiffs and things coming around, which I know they probably can't come in. I do know quite a considerable amount of information about it, but the CCJ is something that I don't know too much about, which I'm struggling with because I know like bailiffs, high court, high court enforcement officers, and all those kind of people. I know how to deal with them, but it's just this CCJ now. It wouldn't be so bad. I probably think I know what to do if I wouldn't reply to that letter. But now um, it's gone to court and I got it on my record. I just want to get it off. So yeah, if anybody can help, that'd be great. Um, thank you for watching and uh, thank you for your help. If you do help. <laughs>